best friend. Who is your best friend? Hallelujah. The best of best friend is Jesus. You need him as the friend who does not fail, who does not disappoint, who does not abandon you. He says, I will be with you always. I will help you. That's what he, he assures us in Isaiah 41 and 10. He says, I will help you for I am your God. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. That's the friend that would always be there. He says, I will be with you always. Hallelujah. He will be wherever you are in every situation where you cannot get your physical friend. He is there. You can speak to him. He is everywhere with you in the form of a spirit, the Holy Spirit. He says, Jesus said, I am going away, but I'll give you another comforter, a best friend who can be with you. The Bible calls him your standby. He's your intercessor. Hallelujah. So ensure that you are maintaining a relationship with this best friend. Even if you have a physical best friend in the form of someone that God has sent into your life, if you don't nurture the relationship, you would lose it. So nurture this relationship with the master and thank God for that physical best friend, one who cares, who is there when you need him or her, who is there to journey with you, who is there to, to see things with you, to make things beautiful for you. God has ordained such a person in your life. We remember the relationship between David and, and, and um, the son of Saul. He was beautiful. Jonathan loved him more than he loved himself. So let's thank God for best friend. But don't forget that the best of the best friend is Jesus. He is number one. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. There is a limit that physical friends can go. But Jesus says, I'm a friend that sticks closer than a brother. He will go farther with you than any friend at all. So make sure that you are maintaining the relationship through fellowship. God bless you and enjoy your day.